Hey there, this is Honey, and we're on our tinnitus blog that we've been working on. In the last video, I showed you how to put a YouTube video on your blog, but if you'll recall, I wasn't real happy with the fact that our first post, our initial post, got pushed down. And that's what typically happens with almost any blogging platform. The most recent post shows up on the top, but we want that first post to stay at the top. So the first thing we're going to do is move that initial post back up to the top spot and I'm going to show you how to make a sticky post. In other words, make it to where it will stick up there at the very top. There are several steps involved in doing this and I don't want it to alarm you. I'm going to take it very slowly and one step at a time and show you exactly what you need to do in order to make a sticky post on your blog. The first thing we need to do is go back to our dashboard and we need to click on edit posts and I can delete this one that I was playing with earlier and now I want to edit that first post and you want to make sure that the edit HTML tab is the one that you're working on so be sure to click that so that it brings up all your code Now don't freak out because I'm talking about code you don't have to know any I promise Okay, so here's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to click anywhere in this post. And you can see here's the cursor flashing. And it doesn't matter where you put your cursor, it just somewhere in this box. The next thing we're going to do is click on Control A to highlight everything that's in that box. And then we're going to click Control C to copy everything. The next thing we're going to do is go up here to Layout and we're going to add a gadget and we're going to look for, it's right here, the text gadget. Click on the plus sign, click in the content box, and then click Control V to paste everything into the box. Now we can come up here to the title and put our post title in there and click Save. Now you can see that it shows up over here in the sidebar and we certainly don't want our post in the sidebar. So we'll left click on this gadget and drag it over here to blog post and you see there's an area that highlights you can just drop it right there let's take a quick preview and you can see there's our post there's no date up at the top the post is up at the top right where we want it and there's our video post down below it and that's just exactly what we wanted now if you scroll down a little further you can see this is the original so we're going to have to go back and delete this one and then it'll be just like we want it. So we can go back up here and X out of the preview box and we'll go ahead and save this. And before we go look at it, we're going to go back one more time to posting and click here on edit posts and we're going to go to this original post that we made. This is the scary part, but trust me, it works. And we're going to come over here and delete it. And yes, we're sure we want to delete it. Now we're not going to click on this photo one because if we do, it will also delete the photo. And I don't want to delete that. So leave that box unticked. Okay, so that's been deleted. So now let's go and view the blog and see if it's like we want it. So here we are. There's our sticky post. Down below it is our video post. And that original post that was down below this one is gone. So that's exactly how we want the blog to look. So that any post we make after this will show up below this video post. Now before we leave this sticky post for good, I want to go back to the layout and I want to tweak a couple of things. Now that we've got it right where we want it, I want to click on edit. And what we need to do is to recreate our links. I want to link this book image to the product page. So you left click on the book and you click right up here on the text link and I've got my handy dandy notepad with my affiliate ID on it and I'm just going to copy that and paste it right there. So now we've linked the book and I want to come down to the bottom where we also have a link and for this link we'll need to highlight it again and delete it and re-enter it. And the reason we have to do that is because the link we created when we were doing the original post doesn't carry over into this gadget box. So we'll just re-enter it and highlight it. Click on the link icon up here and paste in your affiliate ID 
and click OK. Now I think I'll also make that bold and I also want it to be the link blue so it's easily recognizable as a link. So I try to keep all my links that color. I also wanted to take just a moment and bold every other bullet point just to make it easier to read and all you have to do is highlight it and click the B and it's bolded for you. Now once you're happy with the way everything looks then you click on save and since we had everything in place where we want it and now we've made the little tweaks that we want we can view it one more time. So there's our sticky post and I think it looks much better with the bolding and there's our link. Now you always want to test your links to make sure that they go where you're intending them to go and this takes us right to the sales page and if we scroll down there's our video post and nothing else. So now we can begin adding some more content to the blog and I'm going to show you a couple of places where you can get some quick and easy content to add to your blog. Okay, one place to get some quick content is at ezinearticles.com, which is a big article directory online, and there are thousands and thousands of articles here on hundreds and hundreds of different topics. So when you're needing some quick content, you can come to Easy and Articles and use the articles that are here. You just have to leave the resource box intact and the links have to be left active. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. I came over here looking for some content and I looked in health and fitness. I want an article on tinnitus, remember, or tinnitus as it's also called. And right here is their ears hearing subcategory. So if we click on that, that's going to bring up all the articles about anything to do with the ears. And you can see that there are a lot of articles here about tinnitus. You can browse through the titles, read the descriptions, and then pick one that you think you might be interested in. Now if we pick one to look a little closer at, just pick one at random, this will tell you how many words are in the article. This is the article itself. This is the resource box. That last paragraph is going to be the resource box that you must include with the article, as well as these links. Once you've opened up an article to look at it, down towards the bottom of the page you can see other recent submissions about that topic. You can see the ones that have been most viewed and the ones that have been most published. So for this example I want to show you the six symptoms of tinnitus and what you can do about them. Here's the article. There's the resource box. Here are the links I was talking about. And if we want to use this as content, you can go up here and click on Easy and Publisher. When you get to the next page, there's more information about the article, but I do want to point out this statement from eZine. You have permission to publish this article electronically or in print, free of charge, as long as you leave the article title, author name, body and resource box intact. Means no changes. With the links made active and you agree to our posted publisher terms of service, which I would encourage you to read before you start using any of this for content. Now, generally speaking, you can come down here to the plain text version and click in that box and it will highlight everything and you can take that and copy it and paste it into a notepad or directly into your blog. But at the time of this video, the resource box is not showing up in these boxes. So in order to be in compliance with easy articles, we're going to do it a little bit differently but I just wanted you to know that typically it's as easy as that. You just click in the box, copy and paste. But since the resource box is missing, I'm going to go back to this article I've chosen and we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. And come down here to the bottom and just highlight everything in that box. Control C to copy it. Then we're going to go back to the posting page in Blogger. Be sure that you're on the Compose tab and we're going to paste it right in there. We're going to jump back over to the article just for one more minute and highlight this title and copy it and take it back to Blogger and paste it in right there. Now if we preview this, it looks great except that you can see there are no breaks in the article. I really like to have some white space between the paragraphs because it just makes it easier. When you have no spaces like that, it looks more like a textbook and nobody wants to read a textbook. So I'm going to come in here and just create a space between the paragraphs. And you don't have to do this. I just recommend it. It makes it easier to read. 
and you see that we have our links that are supposed to be kept active and they are and our article source and the author's name so we're in compliance with what easy an article wants so we can post this on our blog so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now and now let's go up here and click on view blog and take a look at what we've done there's our sticky post and there's the article that we just put in and there's our video post so you've just about got a full-fledged blog here that you can promote a product on I'm still gonna show you one other place to get some quick content I've brought you over here to Yahoo Answers which is located at answers.yahoo.com and you can put your keyword in the search box so I just entered tinnitus and these are the search results that it found for me if you're not familiar with Yahoo Answers people come on here and ask questions about everything and anything and they wait for others to give them answers and then they choose what they think is the best answer and this is a list of all those questions so if we just choose one to look at here's the question and here's the best answer and what we're gonna do is left click and highlight this question and copy it right there into the notepad then we're gonna come down here and get the answer and copy that and put that in the notepad and then if we go back to blogger on our blog page up here in the corner we can click on new post and it'll take us right to the posting page and all we're gonna do is bring up the notepad click on it control A to highlight everything control C to copy it and control V to paste now the only change I'll make here is put the title of the question up here in the title box and let's publish this post and we'll go take a look that's our Yahoo questions and answers here's the article that we got from easy and articles and there's our video blog, our video post. So you see how quick and easy that can be. And you have some pretty fast content for your site. Now, of course, you still probably want to go in there and put in some original content as well. But this gives you a, a good head start on a blog full of content. I still have a couple of things I'd like to show you. So we'll wrap things up in the next video.